Then here, second is about how to use the reference frame. Uh, so to reference frame is one of the functions in Marius to let you do the, to let you add a new coordinate system. So you can measure the statistic related to position based on this new coordinate system. So here, let me show you, okay. Since we are in this image, I just quickly go through everything. Okay. So I try to create a new surface for red structure. And I create a spot for my green structure, green cells. Okay, that's about it. All right, so for the surface to spot um, colocalization, we can use here and add to the spot and add shortest distance to surface. Then we can turn off and turn on, then say whatever numbers we want, five. So there is probably no one within five microns, only one inside. So using the same distance, short native shortest distance calculation, you will be able to filter out this uh, spot within the specific distance to the service object you want, like this. Okay. Then for the reference frame, uh, one of the, the useful area for reference frame is to, to separate the object based on the new coordinate system. So just, let me just show you. Here, if you want to add a new reference frame, you just go to this object list and uh, add new reference frame. So once you add this new reference frame, you will be able to see this new axis here. And by changing your mouse to, to select mode, you will be able to hold and drag this coordinate origin of this new coordinate system to the position you want. So if it's difficult to determine in 3D, you can turn on this, you can turn on this uh, plane, visible plane, try to find the position you want. So here, if I put my new coordinate system origin at the center of this red structure, you will see like this. Then here in my spots, if I redo it quickly, in the statistic and the position, you will see here, except the default position statistic, I have the new position reference frame statistic here. So this position, if I go to the original one, you can see the X, Y, Z based on the origin of the coordinate system in default which is button left, zero, zero, zero is and the button left in Imaris is here. But if I have the new reference frame and the new coordinate system, the zero, zero, zero will be the position I want it to be, for example, here. So I have this new position measurements I can use. For example, if I want to separate this or group ties or categorize these green cells based on, based on this middle uh, plane, I can kind of go to the spots and uh, here I can say it. Position maybe Z from reference frame. So everything above this middle plane 
uh, okay, everything, everything above this plane will be filtered out and we can use the label functions to make a different color or we can just go to the statistic code and based on the position Z, I can give it a different color code. So this is around the middle and above and below like this. So we can kind of use this uh, reference uh, frame to give our image a new coordinate system. And based on this new coordinate system, we can try to uh, categorize or group ties our uh, object based on our preferences. In this case, I'm using the Z. I'm using the Z. The new Z axis in from my reference frame. Okay, like this. So if you have an application, something like uh, like uh, if you have a cell and uh, you try to measure the uh, release of these uh, granules from the cells or something similar, then you can try to put the new reference frame in the position of your cell and measure these dynamics using this reference frame. Dynamic, dynamics of this uh, granular uh, movement or release or intact by assigning this new reference frame at the position of your cell, then you will be able to have these uh, numbers based on the, you know, uh, away from the cell or toward the cells of the granules using this reference frame. It will be more, more easy to understand other compare if you are using the original axis. Okay, so I think you, 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 you should know the point. Another uh, applications of using reference frame is like this. So I have, for example, a lot of these uh, cell detected, nuclei detected using the spots. Then if we, I want to measure the distance between these cells to the tip, by the way, this is the, I think it's a Drosophila embryo or something similar. It's some kind of embryo or egg. Then if you want to measure all this, the distance between these cells to the tip of the embryo, for example, here, where my reference frame is placed here, so all the positions between this nuclei to the tip of this embryo or this egg chamber, we can use the reference frame as well. So we put a reference frame at the position we want to measure to these cells. Then in the uh, spot object, which represents our, our nuclei, we can have this distance, distance from origin reference frame, which represent exactly the distance between each spot to the position you want to measure. In this case, is the tip of this embryo. So for example, here, this is 177 micron from here to here and uh, far away cells is 308. So in this way, you can easily measure the distance between all these objects to a specific part of your sample or image like this by placing the reference frame at that position. Okay, so that is another Examples of how to use a reference frame.